to another edition of Telescope Man. This is going to be uh, kind of an unusual one. I've been playing with Windows 10 on this little bitty Acer 1 laptop. Now it's kind of souped up. It's not the normal Acer 1 that you've seen around. Uh, I don't even know if they make them anymore, but they didn't make very many of this model. It's got an AMD dual core processor in it. It doesn't have that Atom processor. It's an AMD 64-bit dual core. And it's also got 4 gig of memory. They made a few of these before they stopped production. Uh, and I just happened to stumble on one at a good price. So. Uh, it's kind of my experimental uh, laptop that I play with. I had uh, Linux on there and Windows 7, but I wanted to do a test of Windows 10, especially to see if it would uh, run a bunch of uh, ham radio software. So here it is uh, running on a laptop. This is what you get when you boot up, and if you just click it, uh, you get your log on screen. I'm going to log on right now. And there we go. And I've logged on to Windows 10. <clears throat> what I did was I uh, wiped the drive and then I created two uh, partitions. A great big one for Windows 10 and another one that's got about 30 gig on it as drive D uh, just in case I want to put uh, uh, Linux back on here so anyway it's running uh, it's got about a three, 250 gig drive that it's running on right now and so here's the screen hey doesn't that look familiar to you Windows 7 now I've made a lot of changes to the way it actually comes when uh, it first arrives and you've installed it. I've actually put a bunch of icons, as you can see, software onto the desktop. Uh, Recycle Bin, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, um, all my ham software is in this folder right here. Uh, CC Cleaner, and there's my partitioning software. I'm eventually going to get rid of that, but I'm still using it. And you get a little taskbar, and you can pin things to the taskbar just like you do in Windows 7. You just right click the execute file, and it gives you a couple of choices. Uh, one of them is to pin it to the taskbar. And as you can see, I've got some pinned to the taskbar, including Netflix. <coughs> I've tested all this software and everything seems to run just great. No problem. All right, I haven't had a bit of problem. I've, I've used, uh, eh, let me open up the folder and I'll just show it to you. I've used uh, all this uh, ham radio software that you see coming up right now. Uh, since I uh, loaded the preview version I've actually run it run every bit of this on my ICOM 7200 which uses a USB cable uh, directly connected to the radio so I was able to install the USB driver uh, that comes from ICOM onto here for that particular radio and no problems and everything runs just fine. <coughs> So what I'm going to do next is kind of pause the video. I'm going to get a close-up of the screen so that I can show you a few things about Windows 10. Kind of a neat... Uh, I'm going to just step right out there and tell you I like it better than Windows 7. Which, that's saying a lot. I like it better than Windows 7. And it does have some bugs in it. I'll tell you what those bugs are that I've discovered already but most of them are reported on their preview forum uh, that people that download this can have access to that forum and give them feedback on any problems that they find running the software so I've also given my feedback <coughs> to Microsoft on 
the problems, but it's the ones they already knew about with this particular build. So let's pause and get a real close up of the screen and I'll show you some more. Well, we're looking at the uh, desktop right now and what I'm actually doing is a voiceover. My little bitty Acer one just couldn't do everything all at one time, so I had to resort to the big computer. Anyway, you're looking at the uh, Windows 10 preview, the desktop right now, and uh, I'm hoping I get a good, good resolution out of this uh, particular video mode. We'll see. Anyway, it looks strangely like Windows 7. And as you can see, I'm pointing out that uh, I've got uh, multiple icons on the desktop right now of Windows 10 Preview. This is the latest preview from the end of April, 1st of May. So you're looking at the latest build as of that time in 2015. I uh, got to point out too that it's got a taskbar at the bottom if you look across there and those are awful small icons uh, to be recording but uh, you, I've got Netflix on there and I've got Google Chrome on the taskbar down at the bottom and uh, the file menu that takes you to uh, pictures and videos and music and that kind of stuff and can see I'm opening it up right here right now you'll see it pop up here in a second there it is and uh, you can see it looks again just like the Windows 7 uh, version uh, it looks the same and uh, no problem there you can go down and look at the, the computer itself and the drives and whatever else you want to look at there it's pretty neat uh, uh, I kind of like it uh, better than I do the Explorer on Windows 7. So a uh, little bit different looking, but very, very similar to Windows 7. And uh, I got to say, I was very surprised at how well they've integrated this uh, uh, Windows 10 with uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. You're going to see that in a minute uh, when I open up uh, uh, the little start menu here. But you can see I'm searching around the computer right now just like you would do in uh, Windows 7. You can even look at the uh, computer itself and you know, determine how much space you've been using and all that stuff. They're exactly identical to uh, Windows 7. It's even got the same tools like the defrag that you just saw. Uh, so pretty, pretty neat. So I'm, I'm going to close these windows right now and uh, kind of take you back to uh, the desktop, which is right here. Now the neat feature is the start menu button down at the bottom and uh, strange thing happens when you click that start menu. Well, look at that. You get the old Metro, what they call Metro tiles from Windows 8.1 and uh, they're pretty neat now. You can actually delete all these tiles and just stick with the desktop if that's what you want to do. Uh, they're removable. They're changeable. You can move them around wherever you want them on the screen uh, into groups. And uh, what's neat is you can even name the groups. You see I've named that one uh, Utilities, Docs, and Files. Uh, you can name them, name those groups, anything you want. Uh, uh, you can scroll the screen with a little bar on the right hand side just like you do in previous versions of Windows. It's not a problem. And you can see down at the bottom of it installed uh, a lot of ham radio software into a group that I named Amateur Radio right there. And you can see FL Digi and uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and DX View and you know you can put whatever you want here 
from the programs that you have on the computer. There's no problem. You can also see the little gear there on the, a little above there on the right. Uh, now that's your settings gear and you can go into there and change uh, just about anything uh, with the software using the settings uh, gear icon. On the left you kind of see the start of a what would be called a start menu uh, and uh, it usually has the either the latest programs you've downloaded at the top of the list uh, or the most used programs at the top of the list and you're going to see me uh, click the start menu button in a minute and uh, well I've already done that and uh, now you've got an alphabetical arrangement of the icons the A, B, C, D, E, F, G they're all arranged uh, alphabetically now remember a lot of features are right click so you can go over there to one of those programs that you see on the left and you can right click it and you can send it over to the metro tile and it's going to show up way at the bottom and then you can just move uh, move those tiles around uh, dragging them and put them into whatever groups you want if that's what you want to do or you can delete all those tiles and just work strictly off of this alphabetical uh, 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 start menu and I do like the alphabetical start menu better than I do do the one in Windows 7 uh, pretty neat and uh, it's a little more organized than it was in Windows 7 so I prefer it actually uh, over the one in Windows 7. So uh, just showing you a few of the groups that I've set up here in the Metro tiles. This is not how it comes when it first arrives. It comes with some default uh, little uh, Metro tiles there and then you get to arrange them how you like them or delete the ones you don't want and come back and add in software that you might want like that orange tile that's a VLC a media player that I downloaded downloaded it uh, of course it shows up in V on the start menu alphabetically but you can send it over to the uh, metro tile and just reach it from there right now I'm just showing you the file explorer and showing you that it shows the computers uh, drives and uh, then you can explore inside with all the other files. Now for the problems, uh, there's really been two major problems for me. One is that start box that you see uh, down on the left hand side of the uh, little task menu at the bottom. Uh, originally it came with Cortana which is uh, Windows answer to Apple's Siri uh, and it had a little microphone there and you could click the microphone and ask a question and it would answer it and uh, you know would answer it with a voice uh, that program is very buggy right now crashes all the time and uh, so what I did was I went into settings and just turned off Cartana so that I could use the box uh, conventionally as a search and it will search the computer and it will search the internet so uh, Cortana has a lot still has some uh, bugs in it uh, they're listed as known bugs in this build so Microsoft's already aware of that hopefully they'll fix that in the next release uh, the other problem is that sometimes you click the start menu and you get absolutely nothing on the screen. It looks just like that. You can click that start menu four or five times and click the screen or do whatever else you want to do, but you're not going to get those metro tiles back. That's the other big bug uh, that sometimes 
uh, the Metro tiles will not load when you click that uh, start menu right there. Fortunately, it's, uh, that bug hadn't occurred so far in this video. So there's the Metro tiles again. But that is a bug, and I've had it. Uh, on the forums, they said, uh, you know, do not allow the taskbar at the bottom to auto-hide. And that might solve the problem, but in my case, it did not. It still uh, will fade, fail to load even when I pin the taskbar to the bottom and it doesn't auto hide. So <clears throat> either way for me it doesn't uh, appear to work right. So uh, if you right click the start menu uh, button you get this big list of things that you can do right from the start button. And this is real handy when it locks up. Uh, you can actually restart the computer or look at the control panel or look at the task manager and do a bunch of things, uh, even if you can't get to the Metro tiles right there that you see now. Uh, the icons on the desktop continue to function uh, okay, even when you can't open the Metro tiles. You can still uh, start the software that's located on the desktop like you see right there. So those still function even when the Metro tiles do not. The only way I've found to get it to work again is to do a restart and uh, let it boot up again. And uh, then from then on, uh, it seems to work okay for a while. And something causes it to... Uh, lock up those metro tiles. I, I haven't found a common thing that I was doing when it did that, so I can't really help you with that. It is not uh, the auto hiding of the taskbar. That is, that might be for some people, but for me it that didn't fix it. So, uh, all in all, I'm real happy with the build. Uh, Boy, I couldn't believe that it loaded the ICOM driver. Uh, you know, that wasn't very brand new, a year or so old, and it loaded it right up and allowed me to plug in the radio right into this uh, little uh, Acer One and run all that ham radio software. So that's the look for now. As I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. This has been fun. See y'all later.